we'll be discussing about light. So how many of you have heard about light? Did you hear something about light? Yes, sir. So what it is? What do you think is light? It is a form of energy. It's a form of energy? Yeah. Uh, it pa it uh, travels in a straight path. Okay. Uh, it's a form of energy. It travels in a straight path. Anything else? It does not pass through opaque objects. It does not pass through opaque objects. Okay. That is anything. All that's all. Yeah. Anything else that anyone uh, wants to add to what Priscilla has said? Now Priscilla says light is a form of energy. One. Then it travels in straight line, and it doesn't pass through opaque objects. Right? Those are the three points that Priscilla said. You don't want to add anything. So light is a form of energy. So we'll take that for granted that light is a form of energy. So I'll so all of us will agree to this. This is a form of energy. We'll discuss about the other things a little later. So light is a form of energy. Can you tell me any other form of energy that you know? So heat. Heat is a form of energy. Okay, Sound. anything else? Sound is a sound is a form of energy. Fine. So now, when you're saying this is a form of energy, can 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 you tell me what is energy? What is energy? Uh, energy to work. Energy is ability to do work. Okay. So energy is ability or capacity to do work. So can light do work? No. So, so discuss that light is a form of energy and we know that energy is capacity to do work. So can light do work? That's the next question. Sir, so, yes, light, uh, light can work. It can help us in many ways. Uh, light mm -hmm. is used in many ways. Uh, so yes, light can work. Okay, light can do work, right? So yes. can you give me an example where light can do work? uh light uh, yeah uh, lights are used in uh, electric bulbs okay but is it doing work uh, yeah it's uh, giving us uh, light means it's giving us uh, light so by it, it is working but not not uh, directly indirectly it's uh, working Okay, it's doing indirect work. Okay, that's what Priscilla also said. So once, because once shared, it doesn't do any work. There is no more question for him. Arna, can you give me an example where light does work? It, just, it gives us light so we can do work. But it can't uh, look in uh, No, what uh, my question is, uh, you just said that light, uh, light does work. You agreed that light would do work, right? So, can you give me an example where you can say that light does work? Sir, so, uh, whatever Unmana and Priscilla said, that only. Whatever Unmana and Priscilla said, that only. So, it does work, uh, let's say, indirectly. Uh, Amulya? Sir? Yes, Priscilla? I actually I changed didn't... my mind. Oh, you changed your mind. Okay. What is your new mind? I mean, what is your new I mind? Said no, because it can't move an object. Because work is said to be done when the force is applied on an object and the object moves. Okay. Work is said to be done when force is applied on an object and an object moves. So, so here you say that light cannot do work, right? Yes. Yes. So, okay. Okay. I'll get back to you. So, now, Arna, do you change your no. mind or... Yes, Usmana, you also want, sorry, Unmana, you also want to change your mind? No, I just want to say that light uh, do work because it is also used in making food and all. Okay, let's think about, you know, it might be a little difficult for you to imagine, but I'll just tell you, right? Now, light can do work. Of course, not, I mean, uh, light applies pressure on surfaces which it strikes. You know, it applies force on surfaces which it strikes. But the force is very small. So that's why, you know, we cannot realize it. But if we have a sufficiently large surface and there is a lot of light rays falling on it, then there is a possibility that they, the light 
radiation can push that a bit. So, we call it as red. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so again, I wanted to say that light also produces heat because uh, when uh, we keep a paper and put light hmm. and a magnifying hmm. glass, then it produces heat. So that's also work hmm. only. And for plants also, uh, the sunlight uh, that help is uh, that help in photosynthesis also. So light works. Hmm. Okay, so you know one thing. Yeah, as of now, what we can say is light can light push some object because in physics, what we say, we say work is done when an object moves. Yes. I think all of you, right. So can light yes. push something? No. Uh, no. Can I can I focus my torchlight in a chair and say, come on, chair, move because light is doing work. Will it no. do? Will it? No. No. So you know. Light. So, if I see in my day-to-day -day life, probably light cannot do work. But uh, if you look at uh, the actual situations, like uh, light applies some force on the chair, but the force applied by light on the chair is very small. It's very small. That's why it doesn't move. So, light can apply force on an object, and it can do work. It's a different thing that the force applied is so small that the, we cannot see the work done here but but light can apply force on an object so light can do work okay so directly also light can do work so light can apply pressure but the pressure applied by or light is very small so what i can say i can say light can do work now the other things like photosynthesis uh, as uh, uh, as Unmana said, Unmana also said that, you know, we, we cook, let's say solar cooker, solar cooker, we use light energy, got it? So we are using that energy. We are, of course, we are converting it to some other form and using it, right? There are solar lamps, there are solar water heaters and all those things. What are we doing? We are using light energy in one or the other form, got it? So that's why I can say light is a form of energy because it can directly do work and it can do work indirectly i hope that part is clear so first part is clear light is a form of energy and it can apply force on any surface which strikes but we cannot see the force because the force applied by light is very 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 small light is a form of energy this we have we agree to this now the next part is is light visible can any light that's the other way of asking it. Is light visible or can we see light? No, we cannot see light. We cannot see light. No. Press. Unmana, can you see light? Uh, no, sir, but light only helps us to see, so we cannot see light. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, Arna, what about you? Can you see light or have you ever seen light? No, I, I think we cannot see, uh, we cannot see light. We cannot see light. Okay, I, I'll, I'll give you an example and then you have to help me understand whether I'm wrong or probably you people are wrong, right? One, okay, we can see light when we can make light pass through something. That's what you're saying? Uh, through a prism. Okay, 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 fine. Yeah, I agree that when you pass light through prism, you can see light. So otherwise, we cannot see light. Sayan, can you give me an example? Can you tell me where did you see light? Sayan, Priscilla, Unmana and Arna. So you people are people who have not seen light. Now just, uh, you know, remember the good olden days when we used to go to a movie theater. Right, when we used to go to a movie theater, there is, and you're sitting inside the movie theater and you see a light beam from the camera or, you know, from the projector coming to the screen. Right? I'm sure all of you might have seen that. Now, yes. is that light? So is that light? Yes, but it is not coming yes. directly. It is coming through another thing. Uh, no, is it? Thing. Yeah, that's fine. But is it light or not light? Is it a light or it's not light? It's a light. Yes. It is light. So are you, I mean, you're able to see light or you're not able to see light? We are able to see light. I think we, we, are, are, able. we are able. We are we able are to able. see light. So we are, again, you know, when you pass light through prism, as one said, when we pass light through prism, then we see the colors. So what we are seeing, is it light or something else? 
It is light. It yeah, is? it is light. It is light. light only. When we are in a movie theater, we see a beam of light. That's what we call, right? You know, which is coming onto the screen and because of that, we are able to see something on the screen. Now, it's similar to a sun ray. If you, you know, early morning, sometimes what happens if a small part of your window is open, you can see a beam of light coming, right? Yes. So, if you closely see that beam, you will see some small dust particles which are flying here and there. Yes. Yeah, you must have, you know, it's a common thing that everyone might have seen. You'll see some small, small, small particles which are flying here and there only in that beam. And just outside the beam, you don't see the dust particles. Just inside the beam, you'll see the dust particles. And just outside the beam, you don't see the dust particles. So does that mean that there are no dust particles outside the beam? No, there are dust particles, but light is not falling on it, so we cannot see it. Okay, so what is that beam, beam of light? Is that beam of light, beam of light, or is it the dust particles that we are seeing? Uh, it's the beam of, beam of light. It's light so, only. No, so light. what is happening is, uh, we are not seeing the light, but we are seeing the dust particles which are illuminated by the light. I hope you are getting it. So when light is coming through that path, all the dust particles which are in that path are being eliminated. When light is coming from that path, what is happening? All the dust particles in that path are eliminated. So what are we seeing? We are seeing the dust particles which are illuminated by light.